All right, we are on. The most incredible lift of all time. These seats are heated, and it's the windiest mountain ever, other than like Placid, so it's so nice. Hey guys, I'm Taylor, and this is Kevin. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. We've recently explored the East Coast in our self-converted Sprinter van, traveling from Bar Harbor, Maine to Key West, Florida. Now we're headed west and trading the sunshine and crystal clear waters for snow-covered mountains and winter coats. Subscribe and we'll see you every Tuesday. What's up guys, we have officially made it to Montana. We are in West Yellowstone right now. We took a little break from the drive from Idaho Falls where we- We showered. had a day off. We had a day off. So now we're on our way to Big Sky and Big Sky is very difficult for overnight parking. So the challenge for the test today is to find a place to park that is not on any map app. We're basically using Google Maps for tonight because Everything that is available is basically for summer and there's snow on the road, so it's going to be a challenge. We're worried that most of the pull-offs on Overlander and apps like that are actually going to still be closed because of the amount of snow, which we're assuming that we won't be able to park there. I mean, if we can, that'll be great, but we're assuming that those won't be open, which is why we're looking for our own parking. So, wish us luck. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we can find something safe and relatively quiet. And close to the home. And close to the home. Good morning. We're currently right outside of Big Sky, Montana, about to go skiing at the Big Sky Ski Resort. And we found this little snowmobile parking lot off the highway 191, I think. It was a pretty good night. You can hear some tr trucks. trucks at night, but not that much. And it's wide open. But uh, we got a nice little sunrise this morning. But now it's time to hit the road and go skiing again. I think this might be your second favorite mountain Hopefully. compared to Snowmass. Wyoming was a little gnarly, but we got so much snow there. So I think it's going to be a little different here. Hopefully. More fun. Crossing my fingers. All right, we'll show you it soon. What you whip up here? Egg sandwich for you, omelet for me. Ready to roll. Ooh, got some protein in us before the big day on the mountain. It's gonna be nice. So the sun's out. 
We got our dark shaded glasses or, or lenses on. It's gonna be a good day. We gotta make it all the way up to there at some point. Lone Peak, ready to rip. Big sky, baby. ourselves and if we want to we can pull this thing down I just went through that the tree area and I got stuck. I think scratched my lens right there. First day, new goggles. I can't have nice things. I can't. That's why these are only 31 bucks from Costco. And good thing is the length. I have two lenses too, so I'm good for it. Give it All right. Thoughts on Big Sky? I like it. Aspen takes a cake or? Uh, it's close. Uh, yeah, I think it's close. I think from a hotel perspective, Aspen's better because there's more options. But uh, we're gonna go check out the town of Big Sky after we enjoy some brews. And some tacos. Oh, and some tacos. tacos. Can't wait, here we go. I don't hear the heater. All right, we just got off the mountain and time for our celebratory beer. So, winter took a little bit longer than expected because we were just hanging out in the van. We cannot park in Big Sky. We can't sleep in the van. In the parking lot. Used to be able to sleep in the parking lot at Big Sky. However, recently, I'm not sure how recently, they... This year? Oh, is it just this year? Yeah, I think last year you could. Um, they made it so you could no longer do that. So you have to leave the parking lot every single night. Um, which kind of stinks because it's in a really good location and you have good service here and you don't have good service everywhere around Big Sky. But that's just something we'll have to deal without. Yeah. But we're going to hit a brewery for the night. Maybe get a beer, have a little bit of dinner, even though we're not super hungry, but we'll try something. And then... Probably lay low for the night. Yep. We're gonna be and, back here tomorrow. And if you're curious where we slept, 
then check out our website. We created a map of every location that we slept in the van so far, um, all the way from New Jersey to Key West and now out west in Wyoming and Montana. So check that out if you're interested. So now we're going to Lone Pine. Lone Pine. Is it? I wanted to call it Lone, Lone Star, Peak. but I don't think that's it. Lone, Lone Peak. Peak. Lone Peak. It's a little further away from the mountain, but it is closer to our camping spot. So. Yep. And Lone Peak is the name of the peak of the mountain here at Big Sky. So Big Sky was pretty cool. It was. Mm -hmm. It's it's just under Aspen. However, their ski lifts dominate. All right. Time to go get some beer. Good morning, everybody. We are right outside Big Sky. We slept the last two nights and we got a fresh coating of snow last night, probably about two inches, maybe three. So now it's time to clean off the car and then make our way to the mountain so we can enjoy some fresh snow. making the bed getting after it we will see you at the mountain all right so we thought it would be a good idea or an interesting idea to tell you what we usually do when we get to the mountain in the van the first thing, we're usually driving, we're usually sleeping like outside of the mountain. Other than Vermont and Grand Targhee, mm -hmm. we had to drive to the mountain every morning. Every morning, right? And we're usually at the mountain during the week, so it's not as crowded, but especially on the weekends, uh, we try and we wake up and don't eat breakfast where we're sleeping, we wake up and drive to the parking lot of the mountain to get a good parking spot because these mountains fill up fast. By like 8.30, usually the lots are pretty full on the weekends. Now on the week, you could probably get away until like 8.45, 9. Yeah. It's also nice because we don't have to make, we make sure that we don't have to take a shuttle necessarily. Yeah. Um, and that we can just walk to the mountain if possible. We usually try to get free parking. Um, and by getting here earlier, it allows us more parking spaces and time to figure out where we need to park. Now, just because we get here early doesn't mean we get on the mountain early because we usually hang out in the van for like two hours, take our time eating, getting dressed, making sure everything in the van's good, our heat's up so we don't have to worry about frozen pipes. But yeah, I mean, we still get four to five hours on the mountain every time, so it's still plenty of snowboarding. And if we're here for two days, then four to five hours is all you need because we're gonna get sore after otherwise. Definitely, I'm but. sore today. My knee is hurting. The knee is hurting. So today, the conditions are a little bit cloudier, windier, colder. I'm worried about the wind. It's windy on this mountain. Yeah, we got fresh snow though, but only like two inches where we parked this morning. Hopefully a little bit more on the top of the mountain, but we'll see when we get out there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Second day at Big Sky. A little bit more fresh pee, but not too much. Be a good day.
feeling too good. I'm going all the way up. This cloud's rolling in though. Not really liking that, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna take the tram all the way up. So sick. Dude, this is so radical. I don't think you could tell how straight down this is. There's no snow over there. The wind just blows it right off. It's a little icy. Holy crap. This is sick. I'm digging it. Here we go again. What you making? Pot stickers for my hubby. Yummy. My snowy covered hubby. Yummy in my tummy. It's getting real snowy. Yeah. Wow. Thoughts on Big Sky? I liked it yesterday. I liked it today. It's just windy. It's really windy, so it gets icy. Yeah. Other than that, it was fun. I think snow mass takes the cake for our uh, vacation. I agree. So. But I do think this mountain comes in a close second for like all terrain. Yeah. So I like that about it. Yeah. All right, now we're jumping back to Yellowstone. Bye, we're going to be doing a snowmobile tour. We got a recommendation from Go and Live Free, so thanks to them for that. And they said it was really fun, so we're pretty excited for it. Yeah, we're pumped. All right, we're going to be losing service, but we'll try and get some of the uh, drive for you guys. It's going to be beautiful.